you know, rejoice and identify with that uh, young daughter who came on top in Delta and came on top in the zone and came on top in Nigeria and came on top in Africa. Now, stay there. You are going to go higher than you have been. Good day, everyone. My name is Ulukoya Ayomi Kuhi, a student of Deep Life High School, Delta Campus. I'm live at the Champions Corner of the Impact Academy. And with me is the African Spelling Bee Champion, Junior Category, who scaled through the states, regionals, nationals, and finally emerged the African Spelling Bee Champion. Hello. Hello. So, what's your name? My name is Etulia Lozino Daphne. How old are you? I'm 13 years old. How do you feel being the African Spelling Bee Champion? Wow, I feel great. I feel amazing. Like, this is one of my biggest achievements so far. So the feeling, it's, it's indescribable. I can only imagine. Considering the fact you've gone through the states, regionals, nationals, what do you think was your edge above other contestants? Hmm, that's a very lovely question. Okay, but my edge above other contestants was first the God factor. Lots of people joined me in prayers. I trusted in God. I believed in Him. And I know that that was one of the major things that played a role in my success. Next was my training. I was coached by Mr. Okwazu Clarkson. Like, he has made a whole lot of sacrifices for me. Most of the time, I'll spend all of my siesta, most of my prep, and all of my sports time studying, going through word lists, studying the dictionary, making research, so on and so forth. So that also played a major role in my success. Next is me taking a decision to become the African Spelling Bee Champion because according to Pastor Dr. William Fuller and Shokumi, decision is the horse and ran right into fame or shame. He further went on to say that nothing great was ever done without an act of decision making. Me taking the decision to do so, I also had to stay determined because Pastor W.F. Kumi said, by sheer determination, tiny time might build thy giganticness. Wow. Me being determined, I also had to stay focused because the Laoka said, I think if I work at this, I want it badly, I can have it. Me staying focused, I also had to discipline myself as well. While others were observing their sports, I had to sit down to read, others were sleeping at night, I had to carry my dictionary and go through some words. So all of this put together gave me an edge above other contestants. I must say, you are really the African champion. Thank you. So, were there any long or difficult words you spelt? Yes, actually. For example, mm, tintinabulation. Tintinabulation. <laughs> this means the ringing of a bell. It's spelled T-I-N-T-I-N-N-A-B-U-L-A-T-I-O-N. -N -N wow. I'm into your tight schedule. Do you have time to attend fellowship? Of course I do. I have to balance my spiritual and academic life. So yes, I make time to attend church fellowship. So are there other competitions you've won before? Yes, actually. I won the Nigerian Spelling Bee. I took the first position in the 2021 season. Okay. When was the final competition held? It was held in Blantyre, Malawi. And what was your most feared moment? That time when you were so tense, tension was so high? When was that? Hmm, my most feared moment was when they asked me to spell the word reciprocity. I personally have never heard that word in my life, so... I've also not heard. <laughs> so I thought that that was going to be the end of the road for me. I thought that I was just going to go like that. I was saying to myself, I've come so far, I can't just leave. But luckily, I asked for the meaning of the word, I got the origin, and I was able to spell it correctly. Right. What's the importance of spelling me to your academics? Um, personally, the Spelling Bee has given me a lot of exposure because that was like the first competition I ever did. And also, it tests your word knowledge, it helped me to build my vocabulary. And for others, whether you win or not, you'll be issued a certificate which could help you in future. What are your academic aspirations and career path? What do you want to become? Okay, for my academic aspirations, I plan to get 100% in each and every one of my subjects. I mean, how many subjects do you offer? I offer 18 subjects. 18 subjects and you aspire to get 100%. <laughs> wow. Then for my desired career path, I plan to study medicine in the future while specializing in either gynecology or pediatrics. Wow. If you are told to advise the million youths watching right now, on what to do on their academic parts, what would you say? 
Okay, first of all, I'll tell them that they should never give up because according to Anthony Robbins, it's never too late to become what you might have been. And also Thomas Edison said, many of life's failures today that those who do realize how close they were to success before they gave up. Next, I'll tell them to believe in themselves because John Mayer said, you may succeed if no one else believes in you, but you'll never succeed if you don't believe in yourself. Lastly, I will tell you not to be afraid of failure because the highest level starts from the zero level. And Abraham Lincoln said, failure is not a state of defeat, but a platform for regeneration and zeal for the purpose within hearts. Lastly, I would like them to keep in mind that every creature was created to be created. A man on a mission without a vision ends in a vision, and in all, quitters never win, and winners never quit. Thank you. Once again, I am Olukoya Ayomikun from Deepa Life High School, Delta Campus, and I've been talking with the current African Spelling Bee champion, Miss Etwele Elzino, and from our African champion, bye, and from me, see you next time.